what's up guys welcome to our class today class 11 under this class we are going to understand how to configure trunk and access switch port modes yesterday we look at some of the various switch, switch ports such as a console port a gigabit ethernet port and ethernet port so these ports mostly the ethernet ports are either in two modes access or at or in trunk mode a port can be either in access mode or a trunk mode so an access link or a port is a port that is assigned to a single VLAN don't worry about the VLAN we'll cover it in the next class and the frames that arrive on the access port are assumed to be part of the access VLAN which which by default is VLAN 1 all right let's see trunk port a trunk port is connected to another switch we will check on this diagram so let's understand it first let's understand the meaning first trunk port is connected to another switch this port this port type can carry traffic of multiple vlans while in access mode only a single vlan okay trunk carries multiple vlans but access carries only a single vlan okay that's allowing you to extend vlans across your entire network I said VLAN, we are going to check on it on the next class. So don't worry about it. You are going to understand it. Okay. In the below diagram, this is a diagram that consists of three switches and some most computers. And it's a good diagram to demonstrate where trunk and access ports are. So, access ports are those ports that you use to connect your end devices. You can connect your computer here, you can connect your printer, you can connect your printer, you can connect several things. Okay? You connect your end devices like computer, printers, scanners, things like that. That's called access port. But a trunk port, it's a port connecting two switches like this one this is a trunk port trunk this is a trunk port a port connecting two switches between the two switches that's called a trunk port so in this switch interface this is what we will call a trunk port and also on this side this will be a trunk port this one will be a trunk port this one will be a trunk port okay but this one but this one with the blue line or which color is this will be access port will this one will be access port this one will be access port and so on and so forth so guys i hope you understand where the trunk port and access port falls a trunk port connect two switches okay a port that is used to connect another switch but access port is that port that you use to connect your end device all right i hope you understand that simple thing so a command to configure both access and trunk ports by default by default these ports are in access mode but there comes a time that you must configure them because you want to allocate different devices in the different VLANs. So you must specify th that this is a access port. Okay? And this is a trunk port. How to configure a port to, to be an access port, you use this command. First of all, you enter that interface. Let's say this one, this was interface first Ethernet 0 slash 1. So you type a command called interface first Ethernet 0 slash 1. Then 
you enter as you can see it has changed to interface then you type this command to enable that port to be an access port all right the same way you do to a trunk port all right so i hope you have understood the theory part let's see on our protocols all right guys i have already placed the devices so let's do the cabling i told you just click here switch to switch you know that's a crossover because same devices use crossover then we click here we must know the which interface we are connecting these cables first ethernet 0 slash 1 of switch 0 then you come to switch 1 you connect to the same interface first ethernet 0 slash 1 ok which port which, which link will be this this will be a trunk link ok ok oh let's connect the PC different devices we use straight through take the next interface connect to PC interface another one on this side come here come here and place so guys we have done the cabling and we want to configure a trunk link and an access link by default this port here is in access mode this port also is in access mode so let's do the trunk configuration what do we do click on the switch like we said earlier then come to CLI hit enter this is user exec mode let's move to privilege exec mode EN this is privilege exec mode let's move to configuration mode so that you can configure the switch config or configure terminal it enter okay so we said earlier for you to configure port as a trunk you must enter that interface so let's check we said that this interface will be a trunk and this one also will be a trunk so let's check which interface is this I told you to check at an interface you you just place the cursor over this green icon and you will see that this interface is fa0 slash 1 okay okay let's go back to our configuration so how to enter that interface just type enter int like that fa0 slash 1 int just mean interface you can type interface if, if you like but uh, I prefer shortcut because we go faster int fa0 slash 1 it enter as you can see so we are in which interface the interface fa0 slash 1 then we type switch port mode trunk okay we are going to configure this port to be a trunk port okay hit enter as you can see as you can see here land protocol interface change to to down then LAN protocol interface this one change to up again when you configure a switch to be you can when you configure a port to be a trunk the port turns down turns off fast then it stands up again okay as you can see it turned off so it will turn on again it has turned on okay all right so we have done configuring a trunk on this side let's check if the trunk is there let's uh, let's save first do write always remember to save configuration how to check trunk you just type a simple command do do show interface trunk all right do show interface trunk which port of switch one is in a is in a trunk mode is fa01 0 slash 1 the mode is on the trunk mode is on we have enabled the trunk 
power it as you can see so let's do the same on the other let's do the same on the other switch so you come to switch 0 come to switch 0 CLI and enter then EM config T okay let's check which interface do we want to con to configure as a trunk it is this one it's it's which interface FA 0 plus 1 again come back to our configuration then you enter that interface by which command int int means interface FA 0 plus 1 just like that it enter okay then let's enable it as a trunk port which we type which command switch port mod trunk okay just like that and you enter all right so let's do right to save the configuration good then let's check if the trunk is configured on this port on this switch I mean you use you type which command do show interface trunk as you can see which port of switch 0 is con is configured as a trunk FA 0 plus 1 the mode is on Encap encapsulation that is used is 802.1q alright okay so I said by default these ports the access ports the port that you use to connect to your computer are in access mode so I will not configure them here because by default they are already in access mode and we don't have any VLAN so I will configure them when we enter the VLAN part so today's class was about configuring a trunk port and understanding the differences between a trunk port and an access port so guys that's the end of today's class let's meet tomorrow to see how we can configure VLAN in switches and assign them to computers or host devices so bye let's see you tomorrow